Hi, it's Poppy Robert, and uh, we have a new video going, and uh, I wanted to let you know it's one of my first times trying this. So, uh, this is just a different kind of video, and it has to do a lot with uh, educational stuff, or school and stuff, and boring. But you know what? I'll make it a little bit exciting. And uh, as the show moves on and the different characters and stuff, you know, I hope you enjoy it and uh, learn something. And it has to do a lot with animal science, zoology, uh, mammals. They call them mammalogists. You know, there's a lot of technical names. So um, I remember a lot of it's pretty much true facts. You can check Google, google.com, and uh, you'll find some facts about it yourself. So... Here is some characters that will be part of your show, which is Giraffe, Cheetah, and uh, a Slop. And, uh, no, that monkey up there is not part of it. Bah. But, hey, Snoopy! Hi, oh, Snoopy! She wants to watch. She can't be in it this time. So let's we'll let her watch and uh, hope you guys enjoy the show, okay? Giraffes, Cheetahs, and Slops. A Poppy Robert production at Stay in Home Studio. Okay, on this side we are talking about giraffes are the tallest of all land animals. They can it go up to 18 feet tall. That is pretty tall. And at the same time, they weigh about 4,000 pounds. That's about the weight of your mom and dad's car. Even if you try to move it, you couldn't pick it up. And they could live up to 25 years old. Wow. So anyways, I will go for the next slide coming right up. There's, there's a comparison of the giraffe to a person. It's about six foot tall. If you were to take three of you guys to stand on top of each of your shoulders you just might be able to reach the top of the tallest uh, giraffe we go. in this next slide it says giraffes have horns on their heads called ossicones we generally would call them horns or antlers but we know antlers belong on a deer or reindeer but uh, that's a typical scientific name called ossicones, if you Their tongues are about one and a half feet long. They need long tongues just so they can reach high leaves up in the trees or reach into and get the good green leaves. Wow, look at that tongue. Look! <laughs> They can reach tall trees, and look at this picture. It is reaching way up there, and even with its tongue can help them get any further. They can also eat up to 145 pounds a day, and they chew lots of it, lots of chewing. Uh, this one here says giraffes in their habitat. And as you can see, they live in areas in Africa that have open areas of grasslands and trees large areas to be able to run around and they definitely can get food anywhere in these kinds of areas. they can run up to 30 miles plus per an hour so imagine being in your mom and dad's car and going down the street just driving going about 30 miles per hour they also do not know how to swim they have their long long legs Here's what you call a tower of giraffes. Now, I thought they were called a herd. I don't know, maybe you guys know. I never knew that. But a tower? Okay, something new that I've learned. Hopefully you learn it too. Uh, they like to take a little nap standing up. You know, do about 20 or 30 minutes from uh, what I've read. At the same time, if they're sleeping, most they do is about two hours a day. I know most of us do not do two hours. We sleep longer than that. Drinking water can be challenging for them. 
as you can see, out of one of these watering holes, it's trying to get down to get water, and they have to spread their legs out. That's got to be hard. They're known to only have to drink water every couple of days. Now, why is that? Because you notice when they eat their plants, they chew a lot. And they're chewing as they do chew the leaves. Chew, chew, and chew it, chew, and blah, 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 blah. It gets all the juices out of those leaves. So they can actually last a while without water and just go find a tree. Who is this? You guys probably know who that is. I kind of do. It's probably from one of your many cartoons that I maybe I've seen or watched. Uh, Hellman or Belvin or I, I don't know. I can't think of the name. You know who it is. That's not the only giraffe that's around. You guys probably can think of others that have been around forever. The only one I remember also is always was Jeffrey. All right. How was that for the first episode? That was all about giraffes. And obviously, this giraffe was here. We learned a little bit about how their heights, their speeds, where they live. What do you think, Snoopy? <laughs> yeah, right. Probably goes boring. But you know what? At least I hope you learned a little bit about giraffes, because I did. And uh, it's kind of interesting. So when you go to the zoo, you'll can see them. Now remember, no bathroom breaks and no recess. Next up, Cheetahs. This series on Cheetahs. And this is a picture of one. And they are the fastest land mammals in the world. I think this was a cool picture. That's why I took it. Don't you think so? A cheetah can run up to over 60 miles per hour. Now, how fast do you think 60 miles per hour is? Just think of it when your mom and dad get on the freeway. You got to get up to 60 miles per hour at least. Then you could see how fast that is. And considering that's pretty fast for a cheetah. And man, that's why they call them the fastest land animals in the world. Because that is so fast. Here is a cheetah that's in its habitat, which is mostly grasslands or what we call savannas that's out there in uh, Africa. We talked a little bit about that, about the giraffes. They have the same similar area. Here's another picture of a cheetah out in the grasslands or savanna. You can see how well they blend in with the grasses out there. Boy, they can be real stealthy. So I keep my eye out if you're out there running around and watch out for them. Small and rounded head with tear stains and small black spots are one of the ways they are described. Uh, if you notice, they got all these black spots all over their body, the fur. And yes, you can see the black that goes along from their eyes, along the side of their nose. It's a black line. That's what looks like dark tear stains. They're not crying. These two, the cheetahs do not cry. They're tough. And they are fast. So we got to remember that. Here's another picture of one it's sitting on a little mound out there. And you can really see the spots that they have on their furs, as well as that long black tear stain. Just got to kind of remember that there's descriptions of them. Because we have a little thing about them a little bit later. Cheetahs sit on small hills or mounds. Uh, we pretty much talked a little bit about that. Uh, this is a group of them are hanging out. Uh, they're not called a group. They have their own name. They're called coalition. I hope I pronounced that right. So 
It's like in uh, herds or towers or, you know, groups. I don't know where they come up with these names. I wouldn't think of a coalition of this group. But mostly of them are boys. They like to hang out on the mounds while the girls go out hunting for their meals. I wanted to uh, show you guys a little different uh, cat that's in this family of cats. Uh, this is a leopard and they have larger spots and they call them rosettes and they also have a fuller body as you can see the spots are uh, look like rose shapes all around the body with uh, like circles and just wanted you to know that they are different kinds out there that is definitely a different cat and you i would have never known the difference out there so i'm glad i'm learning a little something here Here's a picture of a leopard hanging out in the trees. They also live out in the uh, African areas. And their habitat more the trees uh, all over in the areas instead of the grasslands like uh, the cheetahs have. They can be out in the, what they call savannas too, but they need to hang out more in the tree areas. That's why their bodies are fuller, muscular, and they have bigger claws. They don't run as fast as cheetahs. But uh, they seem to like to hang out more. So I thought it was pretty cool to see that one up in the tree. Here's a picture also of a leopard. Then it's a leopard in their habitat. Yep, they sure like to hang out in those trees. They're probably just hanging there while all the cheetahs get to do all the running around for them. But I wouldn't want to mess with either one of them myself. Here's another picture of, uh, well, it's definitely not a cheetah, it's not a leopard, it's a jaguar, and no, it's not a car. But it's definitely got its name put on a car. So anyways, uh, the bigger spots on their bodies, and they are mostly found in the area that they call the Americas. And we'll discuss a little bit about the Americas coming up. Because they're not located in Africa. They're not supposed to be in Africa. Now here is a look and comparison of the three big cats. And boy, do they all look, they look pretty cool, I think. But you can see the cheetah, leopard, and the jaguar. How similar they really can be. The black panther. They are also found in Africa. And even had a movie made of him. That is so cool. I needed to show you another cat that's out there. I like cats. Here's a map of what is called the Americas, which I had mentioned about a little earlier. Uh, we have the North America and South America. North America has the United States and Canada. Well, South America has uh, Brazil and Argentina or some of the countries. Uh, the animal that we talked about was the jaguar that came from the Americas. But uh, the animals, we yeah, been mostly talking about uh, come from Africa which is over by the yellow and that was the leopard panther and the cheetah and who is this cool cat and then you tell me is he a leopard jaguar he's not a panther not a black panther for sure Maybe he is what they say he is. Anyways, what is this guy's name and what is he famous for? Because I sure don't know. Gosh, I gotta know what he is because he looks so familiar. Maybe one of these days you can tell me when I see you kids. Wow, really interesting about cheetahs. Boy, they were Fast. I didn't know they went that fast and to learn about three different kinds the same colors almost 
I'm glad I learned to know the difference about them. What do you think, Snoopy? Ooh. Yeah, right. Yeah, she would say that, of course. Anyways, if you got any questions about cheetahs and learn more about them, go to Google. Uh, anyways, uh, we have a next one up. It's coming up. It is called Slots. This is the last story of the animals you like. This is about slots. They are the slowest of all mammals. Mammals are warm-blooded creatures like giraffes, cheetahs, all kinds of those with fur. You are a mammal too. Slots live in jungles and have long claws. As you can see, this one's claws is about four inches long. And they use those to help them climb up the trees. As they live in a habitat called jungles. Jungles are nothing but plants and rainforests. That is way down in South America, which was part of the Americas that we had learned about. Sloths have a cute smile. They were born with the feature that just their face is always shaped as, as if they have a smile. And that is probably why everybody likes sloths. You know, so they like to get them stuffed animals because they seem like they're smiling all the time. They can also turn their heads anywhere from like 90 degrees to 360, which is almost all the way around. That seems kind of freaky, but that is cool. Slots are so slow, they get algae all over their fur. That is that green looking color they have. And when they're in the jungles, they are hard to see. They get this because it gets real rainy and wet in the jungles. Newborn sloths will hang on to mom for up to six months. And then when they get up to about four years old, they're ready to go out on their own. Sloths can live up to 30 and 40 years old of age. Sloths like to eat plants. And living in the jungle, there are lots of plants out there for them to eat. There are two kinds of sloths. One is called a two-toed sloth, and the other is a three-toed. Two-toed ones are called omnivorous. That's a different word that describes them eating plants, animals, fruits, leaves, insects, small lizards. Then you have a herbivorous, which is a plant eater only. That is a three-toed sloth. They're very common, more common than most sloths. Their long claws allow them to hang for long times. They can spend the most of their life in one tree and all they can do is sleep and eat. They can sleep anywhere from 15 to 20 hours a day. They like to curl up in a ball or hang by their claws. Once a week they will 
come down, and that is to do their business. That's pooping. But once a week, wow. Sloths are always hanging off branches. I can think of a few animals that hang off branches out in those jungles. Can you? You know that even though sloths climb branches and trees real slow, they can swim super fast. That's because of their long claws. Also, millions of years ago during the dinosaur times, sloths used to be the size of elephants. Can you imagine a slow sloth the size of an elephant back in those days? Who am I? Now this guy was one of my favorite of all characters that I saw when I went to the movies with some of you. Boy, it was so funny watching him. And I sure love to see him again. But I can't remember who he was and what movie he was in. Can you guys think of any other slots besides him too? Wow, that was pretty interesting about slots. I sure learned a lot. And uh, you know what, Mr. Sloth up there? I can see why everybody really likes them, especially when kids get stuffed animals and things like that. They are really a character, huh? Now remember, no restroom break, no recess. Then we're going to end up the show. And you know what? Uh, I just kind of curious and when we learned a little bit about animal science. And uh, what do you think, Snoopy? She wants one to learn about her. Or him, or whatever he is, Snoopy. Uh, maybe someday I'll do a, a story about Snoopy. That would work. Maybe you guys can come up with suggestions for my next show. You know what? Anything helps. I'll do the best I can. You know, and again, this is one of the first times I really ever did it this way. And uh, I actually enjoyed it. And maybe, maybe. I could have my own production studio. That'd be so cool, huh? Again, you learn everything on Google. So you check up on Google. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Yeah, I'll start over again. I gotta mess that up. Hmm. I don't know what I did. I My setup was all messed up. Oh, what I'm doing? Ah!